Today, I'll be sharing with you my classic venison burgers, along with some tips on how to keep your venison moist and tender. I'm a hunter, so I'm constantly looking for new ways to spice up my venison. This recipe is both easy and delicious. I use my Oklahoma Joe's Rambler Tabletop Charcoal Grill, which adds incredible smoky flavor to the meat. Let's dive in. First, let's fire up the grill. I'm filling half of my basket with charcoal briquettes and using fire starters to get it going. I like to leave the lid and both dampers completely open for about 20 minutes until the charcoal gets white and glowing hot. While the grill's heating up, let's create our seasoning blend. In a small bowl, mix together half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, a fourth a teaspoon of mustard powder, a fourth a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Give it a taste, then adjust the seasonings as needed. That's good. I'm using an 80-20 blend of venison and pork belly. I process all of my game animals at home, so when grinding my venison, I added roughly 20% of raw uncured pork belly in order to add moisture and flavor back into the otherwise dry and fatless venison. It makes an enormous difference, so do not skip that step. In a large bowl, add your ground venison and seasoning blend. Mix it together with your hands until it's well combined. It smells really good. Cover and allow your meat to sit on the counter for 20 to 30 minutes prior to grilling. This allows the meat to come up to room temperature, which will aid in even cooking, another important step in creating a moist and delicious venison burger. Spread the charcoals out on one half of the grill to create a direct heating zone, aka the hot side, and an indirect heating zone, aka the cold side, without any of the charcoal. Cut your onion in half and coat it with some olive oil. Using tongs, rub the oiled onion all over the grates in order to prevent your burgers from sticking. Grill the burgers for two to three minutes per side. Once you have grill marks on each side, place the venison on the cold side of the grill and top it with two pieces of cheese. Close the lid and monitor the internal temperature of the meat. Once it reaches 150 degrees, remove it from the grill and rest for 10 minutes before serving. While our meat rests, I'm going to create a compound butter by adding the leftover seasoning to one stick of butter. Spread the softened butter onto your buns and toast for one to two minutes until a golden color is achieved. It can help to lower the coals during this step so that you don't accidentally burn your buns. This smells incredible. I would typically add ketchup or mustard, but I'm going no sauce for this first bite. Cheers. Wow, that's fantastic. It is somehow so moist, fatty, and delicious. Putting two pieces of cheese on, I think really helps add some fat. Obviously, the pork fat that we added into the ground venison to begin with, and the way that we added smoky flavor using our charcoal grill. This is the type of burger that you could feed to someone who does not eat venison, and they would totally like it. Cameraman. I'm actually really impressed. Right? So that is it for this video. For more episodes of Source to Smoke, you can check out Oklahoma Joe's YouTube channel, and I will see you guys in the next one.